I can definitely see one of them falling out of the ring also. I'm pretty sure that Carl was also mentioned that he wanted to go with KO. KO. One left punch. Don't wake up. Uh, he, he said that he was going to try to counter fight, actually. Right. Yeah, counter so fight. hopefully slip that left mm. and land a nice kick right Definitely motivated here, Theodorus. Before he came to Japan, he also went to Belarus for yeah, some special training camp, yep. It's always good to get a different look. Mm -hmm. It was a Muay Thai gym that he was camp tra uh, training camp at. We'll see if uh, if anything, you know, stuck in his here, mind, yeah. yeah. Taking off our first bout here. Ooh, oh, there he goes. Kick. Nice long-range weapon. Oh, oh fake shot. Go. Normally Looks like a pretty good start. Yeah, normally you want to start uh, throwing that jab, getting that head movement going, mm -hmm. and establishing that. All right, checking out the distance here. Well, there you go. And right away, as soon as they started yep. going, uh, uh, he went for that takedown. And the blue pants, that's Carl Albrechtson. Nice hard kick there. Leg. Nice hard leg kick. And going for the takedown again. Oh, there it is. Take and he down. has it. Now, hopefully he starts to work. Uh, Carl on top, Theodorus on the bottom there. So Carl's gonna try to mm -hmm. open that guard up with some shots, try to pass and improve his position. Gonna put a few left hooks in there. He's got his arm there, huh? Yeah, he's just holding him down. That's really not, oh. Open his guard to, to hit a submission from here. You have to open that guard. Okay. And when he's locking him down, he's really just looking for a stalemate. Throwing some elbows to the body, trying to soften him up. This is going to be a one match, ten round, uh, ten minute round. Yeah, I believe it's a ten and five. Yeah. Right there, he's in a triangle. He actually should be posturing up, trying to get that arm back through. So who's got the advantage right now? The bottom guy right now. Bottom. But oh, there goes. he just broke that submission attempt. And he's going for a reverse triangle right there now. There he is. Passes the north south. Now right here, he should be chucking those knees to that face. Mm. And there's his there first attempt. It's actually kind of hard to hit there though. But he's got, definitely top man has the position. The ref's on the outside, yep. pushing him back in. Got side control there. Got the knees. Now this is real danger. Oh, oh got him. Back to his feet. Yep. Right away, Carl was trying to go for that takedown again. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a. Uh, that's definitely his game plan. That's what his game plan was here. His perfect scenario for the fight. In the blue pants, we have Carl Albertson. Black pants, Theodorus. Oh, there you go. Nice little uppercut. I think that check left hook landed. Oh, Double left hook. Hurt. They both cracked each other. Yep. Nice high kick there. Head movement. Level change. Yeah, Carl, and for, for the that single leg. The old single leg. Now let's see if he can pass. He can get to a better position. So right here, it, it mm -hmm. really is dangerous to sit in somebody's guard. And you can see that before, uh, you know, bottom man threw up that triangle. Yeah. So this isn't actually a resting spot. This is, uh, he should be posturing up hitting mm -hmm. and trying to pass. Down, down there. Shots from the top are actually a lot harder than they are when they're standing mm -hmm. because that head has nowhere to go but mm -hmm. hit the back of the mat. Mm -hmm. They don't look as hard, but they are definitely more, they're, they're more intense. It looks like Carl's got a little damage there. Somebody's cut. Yep. Somebody's cut. Body. 
Back up on their feet. No, I'll take that again. Oh, he's going on top. Nice. Nice little kick over there. What was that? I don't think that is a technical move. That is technically not a move. Nice scramble. It's yeah. a good scramble. Popped up. Now, right here, he's got to be careful of those knees. But he didn't throw it. Looks like Theodorus really wants to stand up. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. He's trying to chuck those bombs. I would like to see more combinations. You know, because they're throwing uh, one and ones and twos. Now, Theodorus has a judo background. And uh, it was, it was pretty, well, there he goes. Nice right. Oh, he wanted yeah, to spin there. Spin that, yeah. He wanted to spin. Nice low kick. Five minutes. Halfway through the round. So we're saying that, though, you know, he that had was a, a good last nice though. Judo background. Oh, little trip. Inside kick. Was that a slip or was that a. I think it was an inside kick. Inside kick definitely took him off his feet. Another counter. Those are pretty good punch. Take take down. Down. So that was a double leg. Now he's got half guard right now. Mm -hmm. It's a really good position because there's not a whole lot of submissions that the, the bottom guy can hit from there. It's a good spot to just sit and pound, mm -hmm. just like that. There he is. Got a couple of good pounds in there. Oh, now he's going to take his back. Locking that hand down. This is a great position. And he's going to go to a mount. So bottom man should be getting on one side, mm -hmm. hip escaping, trying to re-guard here. Not just go to a lockdown position. This is more like a survival mode. Like, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to get hit. But eventually you are going to get cracked unless you get to that side. And there he is. Yep, try Got him locked down again. Now, as far as the referee's position, you know, if they're not doing anything here, it's actually really hard to stand people up, even though if they're, you know, there's mm -hmm. no action. Because okay. it's such a superior position, that top man's position. And he is landing some, some, some light shots yeah. on top, but he's got to really create some space and, and drop some bombs. Now, Teodorus has got him in that clinch, though. That's a survival move. Yeah. Yep, pure survival. Technically, that's not a good spot. And he's got his back. And that's what happens a lot. You get him out. Oh, in the rear naked. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. But he can pound him out right here. A lot of times, you get the mount, and you force him to give your back by, by hitting him. And again, that's, that looks tight. Got him. He's not, he's not in a great position, though. He's got to square back up with his back. He's got to get that arm under the chin, yeah. too. Yeah, Teodoro's really working hard now, trying to get up. He's taking those hits pretty hard. That's a big man on top of you. Yeah, dude. it is. Back to mount. He's got a head and arm. We'll see if he goes for the actual choke. He's got to drive that shoulder into his neck, get his weight down. Yeah, he's going to go for the head and arm. Trying to get that shoulder in there. It's kind of light right now, then. Uh, it, it looks tight. Mm -hmm. So Teodoros needs to get on his side, go away from the choke. And that's the fight. That's the fight. The old head and arm. A lot of guys can't finish that. That, yeah. that was a really good finish. I have trouble doing it in practice. So there he is. Taking away the win there is Carl Abrexton. Took a little blood there. Yeah, he did. His hair is still in perfect condition. <laughs> that was a really tough fight. Really good fight. Good sport. And taking a look there. Yeah, he's also got him in this mouth here. So he's got the back. He turns over. Doesn't want to get hit anymore. And he just put that arm out. Yep. Carl just takes the old head yep. and arm. Nice. There's Very a tap nice. out. Great way to finish. Well, first round. Yep, first round, good fight. Yep. The biggest thing about the Ryzen uh, fight, around seven minutes. Seven mm. minutes into it, we really see who trained for the fight and who didn't. 
And it's, it's pretty obvious that Carl has probably put in more time in the training, or much more harder training. He was saying he was. He, he put the game. He put the fight where he wanted yeah, it to be. Exactly That's where what he, he was talking about. He wanted to take him down and really use his uh, his grappling, and that's what we saw. Great job. That's a big man. Yeah, he is a big man. He loves Japan. Loves sushi. Loves ramen noodles. I think he's gonna have a feast tonight. Yeah, he said room. he's gonna eat sushi and ramen. Sushi and ramen. There he is. High touching Japanese fans. You gotta give the love back. You, you know? do. And that's part of his uh, documentary team there.